Hello, my name is Mike Dodson, and this is my 60-second sermon. We live in a world where there's a whole lot of trading. And as you read in the paper and you see politics, you see where there's trade agreements with other countries. And, and we know that trading is something that's not new. It's something we do here, and we do it in a personal way. We trade cars. Sometimes we trade houses. And kids will trade toys around. So it's a lot of trading, and trading is something that we're used to. The greatest trade that can ever be made is made out of Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, where Jesus said, Come unto me, all that are weak and heavy laden, or all that are weak and overburdened, and I will give you rest. When he says, Come unto him, he is saying, I'm giving you a personal invitation to come just the way that you are, to come with all your cares and all your stress, and come with everything that's coming against you. And I promise you, in return, I will give you what money cannot buy and you can never be able to trade for anywhere else. I will give you rest. When you hear about rest, you're talking about peace. You're talking about something that the world cannot give, but a peace that can only come from Almighty God. The peace that you have with God, the peace that you have of God, and the peace that you're able to live your life and be able to look back and say, where would I be without the Lord? As so Jesus says of all the trades that anybody will ever make, the greatest trade that can ever be made is when the, a person comes to Jesus Christ, trades in all their sins, trades in their old life, and they leave with a brand new life. Many times we want to ride around in the best looking car, we want to have the best looking house. But what good is that if inside of us looks horrible to the Lord Jesus Christ? So he says, come unto me, don't go anywhere else, come unto me. All that are weak and all that are overburdened, and I promise you, I'll give you rest. It's an invitation, and an invitation is no good unless it's accepted. So I pray today you will accept that invitation. And if you're hurting, overburdened, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Saved or unsaved, he'll give you rest.